Hello everyone, welcome back to WS Cube. In our previous session, we discussed about what is recursion in Python and also we learned about the return statement. I hope you guys have no doubts and no questions from our previous session. In our today's session, we will be discussing about the lambda function that is used in Python. Now let's see what is the lambda function over here. So guys, lambda is an anonymous function. It is used for a very short period of time. Lambda function can take numerous amounts of arguments and at the same time, lambda inside the lambda function, you can only use one expression. So guys, to create a lambda function, all you need to do is, for, for example, I'm creating a variable called as a. a is equals to, I'm going to write lambda b colon. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a value of b. I'm, I'm going to use an anonymous value of b over here that b when multiply, yeah, b when multiply by 5, what output does it gives us? So I'll be writing print a that is the name over here of our variable and inside it I'll be providing with the value of b. So I'll be writing 12 over here. As soon as I uh, run this program, I get the output 60 over here. So this is how our lambda function works that we create an anonymous function over here inside a function only. And here in this function, I have taken one argument. Let's try how we can do it with taking two arguments. So at the same time, if I'm taking an example over here, z, z is equals to lambda. I'm taking two arguments over here. That is x comma uh, y. And I'll put a colon and I'll be multiplying this x and y's value to each other. So I'll write x multiply by y. And if I print in the next line, print the name of our function, uh, the name of a variable over here that is z and inside it I'll be providing with the two values that is of x and y. So let's say I'll be writing 5 comma 8 and if I run it, I get the output 40 over here. So guys, this is how a lambda function is used. I hope you guys have no doubts and no questions. In our next session, we will be discussing about what are local and the global variables. So stay connected guys and I'll see you in the next session. Thank you.